Okay, hello, welcome to a brief overview over how I use Planning Center. Um, this is just in case you're not familiar with the Planning Center Core Builder um, and kind of the way that I'm used to um, operating. So I just wanna explain my process so that hopefully, at least from my part, nothing goes um, assumed. Uh, so briefly, I spent six years um, in the Midwest leading worship for a church. And so we had a pretty good process down. And so um, doing my best to flex into um, each church's use of Planning Center, but wanna make sure that uh, that I explain where I'm coming from so that we can communicate effectively and ahead of time and we're not finding things out late. So um, I'm gonna throw over into the Planning Center dashboard. Um, this is for a church uh, for September 5th, 2021, as you can see at the top left corner. Um, so if you're watching this video later and things look different, then sorry. Uh, fortunately, it's not like a huge overview of how Planning Center looks, but um, so you can see I've got all of my columns here. So essentially I will have um, song leaders listed in the vocal column. And you can see that like if you're on phone or something, you can go into the song notes and then see song leader on vocals. Um, I might have further notes in the detail section, but if I do, I'll detail them in the description here. Um, so like maybe for Remembrance, which uh, is a tricky song. Um, this song has mixed meters. Please listen and note ahead of rehearsal. Um, and that's handy just because you can see it here on the front end and then you can go further in. Uh, so up here in the top right is the rehearse tab. You can download the songbook right there or you can load in the media player. Now, um, since I'm just going from church to church and I don't know typically what the things are, I just uh, link the YouTube videos and I wanted to let you know briefly my approach to worship rehearsal is that these tracks are very much reference tracks so we'll probably follow the same structure we'll probably follow um, of course the melodies and the lyrics and things like that but uh, some of the lead lines like at base I expect that you'd be able to play some semblance of recognizable lead line or um, something like that but if you want to, as you're preparing, you're like, you know what, actually, I think this song could do something different. I want to try this other thing. Uh, I would much rather make this song our own and bring our own flavor and our own sensibilities into the song than like try to do exactly what the reference track does. So very open to collaboration and uh, really look forward to um, working with teams who come with that sense of, I can do the thing, but also what if we did this other thing um, and kind of exploring what our musicality and our sense of ensemble sounds like that way. So um, I, like I said, use the Planning Center Chord Chart Builder. Um, so this is what that looks like. I write all of these out by hand. So if you're practicing ahead of time and you're like, hey, this chord progression seems wrong, it probably is. Just send me a message and let me know and I'll get that fixed and update the rest of the team members. Um, I've definitely made that mistake and uh, you know, it just it is what it is. So here's the thing. Uh, there's the name, right key, uh, BPM, meter, all that stuff, whatever. This is the thing that I want to draw your attention to is this is like our song sequence outline. Um, so that's our roadmap for the song. So intro, verse one, chorus, instrumental, verse two, chorus, turn, bridge, chorus, tag, outro, right? Um, then you'll see that I don't really have any repeats throughout the rest of the music. So we've got uh, the intro verse, I can actually zoom out so you can see that a little better. Um, so verse, chorus, instrumental, verse two, turn, bridge, outro, right? Like it's, there aren't any, it's not like a clear, like what you might find on like an ultimate guitar chords.com or uh, e chord.com or something like that. Uh, it's very much like, here's your sequence up top and then here's all the parts that you need. Um, so really getting used to, it can take a minute, especially if you're not familiar with the songs um, to, to come into, oh yeah, I have to like look up and kind of know that arrangement. But I think if you sit with it, um, really I want the music to be a reference point for Sundays uh, so that we can really focus on, uh, sorry, I want the sheet music to be referenced on Sundays so that we can focus on ensemble, on playing well, on entering into worship together uh, on the day of the service. So uh, you can see that I use kind of a hybrid method and I'll zoom back in here. You can see that I use a hybrid method. So we have um, what represents kind of a four bar, kind of a rhythmic comping section, just to show where chords fall generally within a bar um, or within a measure. 
And then I switch into, if it makes more sense, especially in this two column layout, uh, switch into chord progressions here, um, chords over words like you would expect to see on the internet, right? Um, especially here, like in this bridge section, you can see it just falls right there. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of a broad overview. I did want to draw your attention. So here's a one column layout song, Hunger and Thirst, intro, uh, verse, chorus, etc. So there are a couple of things with this, especially um, like in the, the verses, you see I have repeat signs, so you know that you'll be playing the progression twice. Um, Pre-chorus here. Um, sometimes, sometimes I will, if the phrasing makes sense, right? If it's a four bar phrase, uh, so you get five, six, four, Sometimes I'll just crunch up and do a repeat sign over the four chord, or sometimes I'll expand it out into two, just kind of whatever makes more sense um, for my brain at the time. And I think we'll see that um, here. So this one is mixed meter. So I typically try to leave performance notes right here, the first line item. Uh, so if it's a mixed meter song, or if the uh, chord chart itself is two pages, uh, you know, say like this is a two pager, just to be prepared for that. So. Uh, it looks like at the time of recording this, I might need to rework the song sequence because that song sequence actually gets pulled in by CCLI when I link this up. So I need to match that to what our chord chart will look like. But you can see here um, that I've notated it's 3, 4 plus 4, 4. So generally for remembrance, it's bars of 3, 4 and then the last chord is a bar of 4, 4. So the verse actually follows the same thing as the intro. Um, and then the chorus switches to 4-4 four, four time, and then back to 3-4 four, plus 4-4 four, four there at the end. And then after we make it out of verse 3, we're in 4-4 four, four time for the rest of the song. Uh, so I've gone ahead and notated that, uh, except it looks like I missed it here on the outro, but like I said, that is 4-4 four, four time. Um, so yeah, so that is the general broad strokes overview for how I do charts. Like I said, I will update this uh just this top line here so that it accurately reflects reflects what we're going to do uh sometimes i will link to a song a version that is you know eight minutes long um and i will cut out uh in the rehearsal or in the song sequence you know kind of heads up like this is not eight minutes long because i don't unless you're at a conference i don't think you really need to be doing eight minute long songs so um so yeah if you have any questions, let me know. Also, uh, if you are at home and you want to make your own charts and you prefer um, numbers or numerals or whatever, or you just want the lyrics or you just want cable chord charts, all of those things are there and they will look the same as this, except instead of the chords that you see printed, you'll have concert key up top and then either numbers, numerals, capo chords, or you'll just see lyrics and then you'll just see a bunch of uh, semicolons or actually just full on colons in random places. But that's what that's about. Uh, so I hope that that helps you understand kind of what I am after in terms of um, what we're how, how I communicate with Planning Center. And then if you are a part specific instrument like um, keys or lead electric or maybe harmony vocalist, then also in the rehearse tab, uh, I believe Either with the songbook or the media player, uh, there might be some part-specific attachments in there as well. Um, and of course, you have access to them uh, in the files. Now, uh, this files here more accurately reflects what you would see like in the mobile app, uh, which I'm not going to make a video for, but that's the kind of the broad overview. Um, you see that I link lyrics and uh, sorry, Spotify and iTunes to songs, um, just because sometimes if you just want to build your own playlist, I know that YouTube doesn't play the most friendly um, with Planning Center Mobile, but it is the most legal way for us to do streaming music in a way that is helpful and, like I said, legal. So uh, that is it. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach out to me at my email, kj.relke at gmail.com, or send me a text message or phone call. All right. Thanks, everyone.